In my second part of my three-part series on how to record gameplay off of your console, I'm going to show you guys how to record your gameplay from your console using the HD PVR and the software included. The software that's included is ArcSoft Total Extreme Media. Now it's a great piece of software, but I do also recommend using another piece of software, which is Elgato ITV for MacBooks. Now it's a great piece of software. It all depends on whether you're a PC or a Mac user. Now I'm going to show you how to use both of the software, how to maximize the video input in order to get the best possible quality from your gameplays. So let's get started and let's get gaming. After you've installed the software that comes with your HD PBR from Hapaj, make sure you boot it up. It's the Total Media Extreme icon on your desktop. Now, it's the very first one from the left in order to use the recording feature. Make sure you click on it once. And you're going to see this screen open up. It takes a little while for the HD PBR to register and be found by the software. Now to begin with, I'm just going to quickly show you how the user interface actually works on the system. You can see me actually controlling my PlayStation and you see the feedback on the little preview screen in the program itself. There you guys have it, AC Brotherhood is in my console and it's running. And you guys can see me just flipping through all my options. Now up at the top you have your source. Here it's going to display where you're capturing it from. Whether you have a Dazzle, a Blackmagic Intensity Shuttle, or an HD PVR from Hopage. Right below it is your video input. This is where you would choose whether you're using the front jacks, the back jacks, the component cables. Next is the audio, which also allows you to choose high definition, your front or your rear inputs. And also for a PC mode, you can capture in two channels, which is your standard stereo or your high definition 5.1 stereo. Here you're going to find a lot of video settings that allow you to capture and change the gamma correction and the lighting and the expression of your video. Make sure to kind of check out those settings, but don't fool around with too much with them. Now you can also set it to PAL system or NTSC, for de which depends on where you're located. The next thing you're going to be checking is your format settings. These allow you to capture a better picture. I generally recommend using a 7 to 8 megabit per second constant bit rate. It probably offers you the best picture at the biggest size possible and not making it too big or too small. It gives you enough clarity and it looks amazing at 720 and 1080p once fully rendered. You can also use the audio input. I do recommend AC3 audio codexes and make sure that you have the correct filters installed. All your information is displayed right underneath all your settings. Now you can click through the different recording types. You have your PlayStation 3 recording type, AVCHD, which is your high definition, and your MPEG-4 for Xbox 360. Now I do recommend that you use the Xbox 360 setting. It allows you to record an MP4, which is the easiest type of file to read by editing programs and rendering programs. Now once you're ready to start capturing your gameplay, hit the capture button at the bottom. The screen is quickly going to change. You're going to see the blue light on your HD PVR from Hapaj and it's going to start recording. You're going to see the recording time to your right which shows you the elapsed time that you spent recording. You can also set a timer. So if you know that your game is only going to last 10 to 12 minutes, set it for that amount of time so you're not wasting any space and not making your file any bigger than it should. When you're done, hit the stop button and that's as simple as it is. Now if you are a Mac user and you do have an HD PVR and you don't have a PC handy or close enough to your television, there is a program that you can use. It's called Elgato ITV. It's a great little program. It doesn't take too much space and it's very easy to use. It's simply just plug in your HD PVR with your USB and the system will boot up and show up automatically. Now to the left is the big blue screen. It shows you what my PlayStation is actually running at the moment. There is still a little bit of a lag in between the TV and the computer itself. So you guys, I do not recommend actually looking at this screen while you're playing your games. You're going to see me playing AC Brotherhood once again. It quickly boots up and it's a little bit smoother just because my Mac is a little bit faster than my PC. Now to your top right, you can see my setup. This is pretty much my control center. It's as simple as just pressing the little red button and recording starts. So 
I can just record the video, I can mute it, I can fast forward it, I can pause it, any settings that I like to do. It's very simple and I almost find it a little bit easier than using ArcSoft Total Media Extreme. And when you're done recording, just press the stop button and everything is saved to your movies folder. Now I'm going to go over the preferences very quickly like I did for ArcSoft. You can simply just go into your preferences panel, go into custom settings. This is where you can set your bitrate, which is what I usually recommend. Go into edit and it's going to show you what the average bitrate is. Once again, set it between 7 and 8 megabits per second. You can go higher, but it does take up more space per video. Set the constant bitrate and as for the audio, for Max, I do recommend AAC because a lot of the times the AC3 does have a little bit of a problem on the Mac machine. Now once you're all set, hit the OK button and you're going to see the video running in the background. It's going to record and usually a 10 minute match on either Black Ops or Assassin's Creed will take approximately 600 to 700 megabytes depending on how much action happens. Because you have to remember that the more lighting that there is, the more space that the video will take. If you guys do have any questions about ArcSoft software, please visit ArcSoft.com. Now, hopefully this tutorial helps you guys out how to use it. And if you guys are Mac users and you need to use Elgato ITV, here's the website, Elgato.com. Please visit, check out their products, and if you are a user, please purchase. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to Gamers Beverage. And in case you guys missed the first part, on the left is the video for my equipment setup. And on my right, you'll see my third part, editing, commentary, and rendering.